so in this video uh, I will try to find a solution for the irregular output speed of the extrusion uh, believing that there is a problem of uh, pressure applied at the filament uh, in this area so I need to remove this remove it I need to use a tool a special tool to uh, to turn it uh, so that it will be able to uh, improve the pressure okay so let's do it it's not difficult I did it a lot of time so I use this uh, to remove to remove it first and I use that same tool to remove this part it's really not complicated so I've removed it and I can see some cables and and here in the middle I got a little hole and I can I can just with the appropriate tool I can adjust precisely the pressure applied by the motor on the filaments so that I can be ensured that it is correctly uh, grasped and dragged to the bottom uh, to, the, to the nozzle of the extruder so I will try to find the right uh, the right pressure so uh, the preheat process started if I understood well uh, what I have to do, I have to be ensured uh, to turn this clockwise until regularly until I hear a typical click, click, click on the produced by the motor. And when it starts to click, I stop. And then I turn counterclockwise regularly. Uh, until I detect the point where I, I, I can stop the filament to move with just the strength of my own fingers. So I check the state of this tool. When it clicks, I check the state of this tool when I can stop the filament to be uh, dragged. I divide, I divide by two the angle and I let it like that, theoretically. So I'm going to start the, I'm going to start the process. And this is a low process. So the, the loading process has started. I'm going to push the filament. In the model, it is it is grass as you can see, but I can I can stop it with the strength of my fingers, so it's it's no good. So I'm going to just use the tool and turn it clockwise until until the strength is the strength of my finger is not enough to to stop it. Here is a point where I get some difficulties, but I can still stop. Uh, it's, it's hard here. I cannot stop it with the strength of my finger. I get to use a lot of strength. So that the job is done. It's very hard. I cannot stop it. And here is the typical noise, you can click it. Okay. Clicking 
position here. Now I turn it counterclockwise. I cannot stop it. I cannot stop it. I can stop. So there were two positions. Like that and like that. Like that and like that. So uh, I should put the, the thing in this position, half the, the angle, uh, so that the printer has a kind of margin. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Since this is the procedure, the nature of the industry is recommended to me. Half the angle, that's all. And theoretically, this is the only way to, uh, to set up the pressure of the, the motor. Well, let's see if it works better. Just, just want to show, to show it to you. When, why I'm doing this low filament thing, and why I'm, I'm, uh, why I'm working on the pressure applied on the filament at the bottom of the nozzle, there are a bizarre filament that happens. You can see. This is shitty. This is shitty. Did you see that? Well, anyway, let's try and see here. If, it's, if everything is better. I'm going to screw, screw it. But I'm going to check if, it, uh, if it's able to It's able to bring something correctly. We never know. Uh, before anything, I will just uh, preheat the printer and uh, just remove uh, some little shit that uh, appeared was late on the border of the, the nozzle during my. Here it is, Mr. Jokes. It is a, it is a normal, normal model. I didn't shoot the high quality or fast or low quality. It is a average normal model. Yeah, I mean, seems to be a bit 
better. And the novel is cheery. And honestly, if, if I don't stop, if I, if, if I don't pause the printer here, I can be sure that it will be totally fucked up in a few seconds. This is a, a cheering, you see, good box cherry. And it's sometimes very difficult to, uh, to remove it while it's printing. I, I, I cannot somehow remove it without uh, damaging the last layer. So indeed, it's possible that uh, we find a solution for for the irregular output by turning correctly, uh, modifying the pressure applied on the steering with the with the system. But there's still a big problem of cheering PLA, as you can see. This is this is responsible of hundred percent of the of the failed printing. So I, I need to stop because I will fuck up my printer I can see. I can't see it. Yeah. Yep. Look at that shit. All the time. Systematically. It doesn't come from the the nozzle itself. It's around the nozzle. I never, never unscrewed or tried to remove anything. I, I even don't, don't know how to do it. I tried to see uh, how I could perform how I could remove it, I, but I I don't know, and it's it's uh, hard to to move anything. I don't know the procedure. I've seen some videos on the internet about the way to to remove a print a nozzle, but those video uh, those videos were uh, talking about the make of replicator uh, one and not the make of replicator two. Uh, so I don't know uh, what to do. And look at that. That shit. I can... I can't print anything. Anything. Honestly, I... I had this kind of problem before. But it was rare. And I could... pull the printer and just remove some little things. But more and more, it, uh, it, it became more and more uh, frequent, then. and now it's systematically happening. Uh, now I'm going to show you uh, the essential tool uh, you uh, have to use uh, with a MakerBot replicator too. Uh, this is this tool. Okay? So you remove manually uh, the fact of printings, uh, the bobs and tearings. Uh, great. And you will spend all your time to remove the fact printing. An essential tool. Essential. So guys, here's the problem. If I improve the and adjust the, the pressure applied on the filament so that the, the extrusion is more regular here. I fix the problem of the irregular output. The filament has the same diameter and it's a good thing. But if I fix this problem, 
I got another problem. The two rings are here on the around the nozzle. The two rings are bigger, even more important than before. So if I release the pressure, the filament is thinner and the bearings are less important. You see? And the problem is that the output is irregular and I get some hairs in the end. So I ship a replacement for this system first, the outer media hoping it will help, but in the end, they're still the same problem. Look at that. Shit it. And now it's usual, it's a usual thing. So, there are, there are several problems with this bridge head. The problems could happen here, it could happen in the thermal barrier under it, and it could happen directly in the nozzle. And I've never tried to screw anything, I never tried to replace the nozzle. It's like it fits in this position from the beginning. Frankly, uh, I've successfully built uh, 20 up little objects with this printer. All my other attempts were failures. This ratio is unacceptable. Well, I have to stop. See that? 